Borderlands 3's story is arguably one of the weakest aspects of the game. It's often criticized for its lack of logical choices and story beats and its wasted potential. One of these major complaints is the abrupt death of Maya about a third of the way through the game. Now I, like many others, was not happy with seeing such a major character die so quickly and was pretty shocked by it since she hadn't been on screen for very long before it occurred. Many people argue that it was a needless death and could have been avoided had the story been written differently. And this is something that I both agree and disagree with, depending on how you look at changing the story. If we look at the story we're given, Maya had to die. Keep in mind what I said though, and I guess the title of this video. Depending on how you look at the story, whether you look to completely change it or not, determines whether Maya had to die or not. To begin, let's take a look at Maya and her siren power's role within the story we were given and discuss why she had to die within the story Gearbox so lovingly gave us. Within the story, Maya herself isn't exactly the most important, it's more so her powers that become an important plot point. Yes, she's the ally on Athenus and is Ava's mentor, but due to her early death, she becomes unimportant to the story. Unfortunately, it's her powers that are more important than her. Because of this, and with the way Borderlands 3 explains how siren power transfers can work, Maya had to die for two main reasons. Troy's character development, and Ava becoming a siren. Troy leeching Maya's powers away was integral to him finding some independence for the first time in his life. Up until that point, Troy was very much a backseat to his sister Tyrene due to his status as a parasite, requiring her to live and lacking the power that she had. By finding out he can leech off of other sirens with Maya, he finally became whole and got his own power allowing him to shed his status as a parasite and finally stand up for himself. Troy began taking over the partnership to the point where it accumulated in him turning the tables and attempting to leech Tyrene dry to open up the Great Vault. Now, like many other aspects of the story, Troy's character development was unfortunately wasted with the way the game was written and how the story ended up going. So, even if you see Troy's development as wasted potential, the important part here is that it was a big reason as to why Maya had to, at the very least, lose her powers. So, if Maya just had to lose her powers, why couldn't she have lived? It was apparently written that Ava had to become a siren by the end of the game. Because of this, Maya had to die at some point in the game, especially because she was to receive Maya's powers. Sirens can't just give up their power willingly while alive, they can only choose a successor upon their death. The plot point of Ava becoming a siren basically marked Maya for death, because there was no way they were going to give her someone else's powers. Lilith needed her powers back to save Pandora, and even if she still did, and Ava immediately gained her powers after, that would have signified that Lilith did indeed die, which is something Gearbox wouldn't want to do, since it would have taken away the mystery. Tyrene certainly wasn't going to give her powers up to the enemy, as well as the fact that hers aren't linked to the fact that there are only six sirens in existence at the same time. Tannis was just introduced as to having been gifted Angel's powers, meaning she likely wouldn't have been killed off at the end. And finally, Commandant Steel's powers are still MIA, and obviously Amara is a no-go. So, for the sake of the story we got and how it was set up, Ava had to receive Maya's powers and only her powers. This meant that at some point, Maya had to die during the story because of Ava being destined to receive her powers, or more so chosen by Maya herself. It was simply a matter of when she died that could have been changed, which would have ultimately made her death more meaningful and effective. I'll keep reiterating this, Maya had to die. But it can be argued that without changing the main plot much at all, her death could have occurred much later in the story. It's arguable that Maya's powers were the only way to open the Great Vault, as it not only allowed him to charge Elpis as a key, but also bring it closer to Pandora, the latter of which Lilith and Tyrene's powers couldn't exactly do, though Lilith has teleportation abilities. So, if we were to say Maya at the very least had to lose her powers, she could have instead lost them after the Rampager fight, 
and either be captured by the Calypsos, resulting in the Vault Hunters trying to save her, or return back to Sanctuary with Lilith. Being kept alive and returning to Sanctuary would have given her the chance of more characterization, therefore making her eventual death more impactful and understandable instead of abrupt and forced. If Ava was still required to receive Siren powers, what could have happened was Maya showing up to stop Troy from killing Tyrene and charging Elpis, but inevitably getting killed by him or Tyrene. By prolonging her death for an appropriate amount of time, it could have made for more impactful death with not just other characters, but also the player as we would have spent more time with her. So we've discussed why she needed to die in the context of the story and even how her death could have been later without much change at all. But what if we were to fully change major aspects of the story? What if we took out the sole reason Maya had to die out of the equation? What if Ava wasn't meant to become a siren by the end of the game? Because this seemed to be a requirement for her laughable character development, Maya was destined to die before the events of 3 were over. It was just a matter of when. But what if this requirement had been changed? What if Ava didn't have to receive Maya's powers, or at the very least, not during the main story of Borderlands 3, but at a later time? If this were the case, but Maya's powers still needed to be stolen in order to activate the Great Vault, Ava could have been the one to die after the Rampager, causing Maya to lose it and attempt to immediately take on the Calypso Twins, resulting in the same thing as Lilith earlier in the story. Although Ava dying wouldn't have as much of an impact as Maya due to how new of a character she was, it would have been a great catalyst for Maya's own character, a character many fans were hoping to see more screen time with. Or, if we didn't want to go killing off more characters, no one could have died from the Rampager scene and instead Maya could have just lost her powers while confronting the Calypsos. If it were pushed back when Ava was supposed to become a Siren, then not only would it have given her character a chance to actually be developed and grow up, but it would have led up to not just a more impactful eventual death for Maya, but to see her and Ava's relationship grow as an apprentice and mentor. This very well could have been the way Ava's character could have been fixed. But unfortunately, that's not what we got. With the way the story was written, Maya was always destined to die. It was just a matter of how far forward in the story it could have been pushed. However, if the story had been changed, her immediate death in 3 could have either been avoided entirely or pushed back to a later game in the series. Regardless, Maya's death was one of many plot points completely ruined by Ava.